back with Bobby and JG Radio. We have Miss Darlene Kirk. Um, so just fasten your seatbelts here. Miss Darlene Kirk, she has a bunch of different companies. She has WeConnect, a uh, global branding agency, which is a promotional products company, Kinetic uh, Promotional Products. Uh, she's about to release a book. She also has counselorchat.com. Uh, she's been an entrepreneur for a decade, uh, been in the marketing space for 25 years. She does it all. And we're going to talk about um, doing it all um, or trying to at least or, or making everyone um, think that she doesn't sleep. Uh, but this is <laughs> this is Darlene. First of all, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. So it seems like you got your um, your plate full or you you're really good at time management. I'm not sure which one I'm to find at, out. I'm good at delegation. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm let's good, figure it out. I'm good about getting some A players in the game to sure. make my vision reality. Yeah, let's talk about that. So it seems that you let's talk about your different companies um, and what each of them do and then uh, how you started to become a serial entre- entrepreneurial. Well, we connect Global Branding Agency works with entrepreneurs that are ready to scale their business. And so um, we manage their marketing as an outsourced marketing department. Uh, Kinetic Promotional Products is just a fun, exciting business of innovative promotional products from branded hot air balloons to pens. There's nothing (laughs) we can't put your logo on. And then I recently made an investment with three other entrepreneurs um, to start the first faith-based online counseling service, counselorchat.com. And um, it's been a, a roller coaster ride of really, really great growth, and we're having a lot of fun with it. It's in my wheelhouse of marketing and working with entrepreneurs and um, working with my business partners to scale um, you know, a business that's you know, a little bit different. I've got a book coming out end of 2018 and so um, kind of you know best practices on what it means to be a woman entrepreneur and overcoming uh, JJ can relate you can yeah yeah overcoming um, you know rough moments and and what you need to do to be successful as an entrepreneur so a little bit of a um, neurotic about getting involved in entrepreneurial business but love it a lot of fun that's awesome. So, so which one came first? I'm, I'm assuming it's we connect. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, and so, how did you go from? Is it or what makes you jump from one business to another to create another business to create another business? Is it boredom? Um, do you do you feel like every all the players are in place that need to be there? Yeah. Or do you, you see a need? Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, we connect is you know my baby Mm -hmm. and and that agency really started out of um, working with my um, ex-husband and his business I went to a lot of different agencies to try to help him in elevating his brand Mm -hmm. Um, I worked in corporate America and marketing and and left to get my um, hands uh, dirty in the entrepreneurial space and started looking for an agency to start helping us with um, his company and could not find an agency that understood the end game for our business Mm -hmm. and wanted to um, set up our marketing efforts to help us meet what our goals were. And so I thought, well, you know, I can do this. So I I opened up my agency and started working with entrepreneurs to fuel their their passion. But through that process, you know, branding for promotional products was a natural extension and it's its own animal, it's its own business. And so I set up a separate team for that. And then as I started kind of moving forward through my own entrepreneurial journey, a gentleman by the name of Paul Mann, who's in EO, came to me and said, look, I know you've got fast tracking, you know, marketing agency. Uh, We've got this little thing called Counselor Chat. We need to scale it and we need some help. And so I said, all right, well, you know, let me take a look at it. And when I got in and really understood the model, understood the industry, and understood actually my own personal journey of um, coming out of poverty, out of welfare, you know, understanding my own journey of improving my own life in order to become the entrepreneur that I was. Mental health, um, counseling, self-help was already a passion of mine. So as I got involved in understanding a little bit more about Counselor Chat, I, I came back to Paul and said, I want to invest. Sure. I want to get involved. So it was kind of... Um, you know, being at the right place at the right time, which is, I think, 
you know, the natural form of how life works anyway. Okay. So when you're supposed to be there, you're supposed to be there. And so it was right for me to get involved. So so quick takeaway for women or men listeners out there that are entrepreneurs, what, what's, some, what's some advice that you give them when it comes to uh, fast-tracking the company and, and, and maybe even building other ones? You need to know where you're going. I mean, very, how far down the road? I would say that you need to know you're in game. You got three choices. Your succession plan is you're either going to pass your business on to a family member that's already involved. So you got some sort of family legacy. Um, you're going to scale it and sell it. Or you're going to ride it, um, the business, until you're ready to close it. Sure. There's many entrepreneurs that get involved in a business and they don't want to scale it. They don't want to grow it. They don't want to pass it on to a family member. They're just going to ride the wave. And so you need to know where your end game is. And then you need to reverse engineer and set up your marketing accordingly. So if you got to build a family legacy, then you got to honor the generation that started the business and you got to start attracting the next generation of customers. Sure. You know, you can't leave that behind. If you're going to scale to grow, you better be ready to put some serious money into your marketing so you can show a strong ROI so that you've got an asset behind your marketing um, efforts. And then if you are going to... um, ride the wave i don't think you need to do any marketing just keep customers happy keep customers happy do retention and and when you're done you're done cool yeah can't read can't wait to read this book then you come back and talk about it yeah cool you bet awesome so again this is darlene kirk a master of everything it seems like if you want to get a hold of her actually you can call this number 800-951-3755 again that's 800-951-3755 we're going to take a quick break Be right back with Bobby and Gigi Radio.